And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show, pedal of the year 2020, pedal extravaganza pedal Woo. show. Welcome to the potty awards. The potties. Yes, yes, welcome to the potties. Um, yep. So, pedal of the year 2020, and what a weird and wonderful year it's been. It's been a thing. It's been a thing. Yep. So, uh, uh, we've done, this is our sixth, I think, pedal of the year that we've done. So, a uh, highly prestigious award, uh, as, as we all know. Mm. Uh, just want to, before we even start, want to mention, uh, it's, this has nothing to do with pedals that are being released in 2020. It's all about videos we've done in 2020. So, all the videos we've done in the calendar year 2020, uh, we're looking at all the videos and all the pedals that were part of that and other things that were in it as well. So, that's the idea. That's it. So, quickly before we start, I just want to say a uh, uh, quick thank yous to a bunch of people that are constantly part of this and constantly commenting. Um, so, uh, I've got to start off though with uh, first Henning and Poo Ninja. I've got to thank those two because Henning and Poo Ninja are awesome. But uh, for constantly commenting and being part of this, uh, Randy, Randy Sutton, The Dead Extras, Wilfred Pasquier, I hope that's how you pronounce his name, Jay Steen, Deliverance, uh, Troy DH, Little Asshole, best name ever, Matt Gilbert, <laughs> Robert one. Menzies, Glisten Cabana, Paul Leonard Ewing, Albus Band, Aaron from Albus Band, uh, Craig, Craig Lyon, who was mm. on the show as well. Uh, Jumping Man and Sound Propeller Patrick. I hope I didn't forget anyone, but um, those are the guys that seem to comment a lot and be always part of it. So big thank you to you guys for being part of it because mm. kind of you're the reason we do this, you know, and one of the main reasons we kind of still do it, you know. Yep. So we don't just get comments of people commenting on how Alex does my shoes or Ugg boots. It's my house. Or that I don't brush my hair often enough. Apparently. Yeah. So. Also my house. Um, yes. Speaking of comment stuff, if you haven't already, jump on our Facebook group chat and you can um, join the chat there. Just share your gear or setups or questions or answers, all that kind of thing. Yeah. And um, that's really handy to do. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, should we get into it? Let's do it. Okay. Let's so get ready for the potties. The potties. Woo! <laughs> we should make a flushing now noise. Yeah. The potties. Not even um, yeah. No. Uh, okay, so last year we had uh, Henning being inducted into the official Super Fun Awesome Happy Time Pedal Show Hall yeah. of Fame. And we said we might do it, you know, not on a necessarily regular basis, but whenever we feel someone is worthy of the awesomeness that is our Hall of Fame. <laughs> and this year I thought um, there is someone I think who's worthy to be inducted into the Hall of Fame because he just does awesome stuff and he's become a friend and he just, you know, is awesome. Yeah. And his name is Andrew McDonald and he's Mr. Mostronics. So Andrew, congratulations yeah. for being the second ever inductee oh. into the Super Fun Awesome Happy Time Pedal Show Hall of Fame. I'm gonna print you out like a A4 piece of paper that you can laminate or just stick to the fridge or whatever. You will? Yeah, why not? Okay. He's gonna do it. <laughs> um so yes, that's our first award. Uh congratulations. So let's keep going. Um last year we had it was you. What? That wanted to, uh, I wanted to separate fuzz and overdrives and stuff. And you said, no, let's be ruthless and make uh, one yeah. thing out of it. Well, that's different this year because we've had a lot of fuzz and it's been the year of the fuzz. Year of the fuzz. A fuzzy, fuzzy year. Yeah, year of the rat in more than one way. Yes. But uh, the year of the fuzz as well. So we separated fuzz and we have a few honorable mentions of the do. fuzz. We do, we do, we do. So we have, um, just to name a few, so we have the. Um, uh, Saint of Sufferance by Frost Giant Electronics. We have the Cosmic Critter. Uh, yeah, focus. But Doomsday Effects. Uh, what else was there? Was there anything else? We have the... Oh. Oh, we break Smash. things. We have the um, uh, uh, Kink Petals, uh, the Russian Plague. Uh, and there were a few others maybe, but... Oh, this one. That's right. Let's not forget about that one. The... Fuzzy and because it's fuzzy, awesome, uh, Foxy Tone Box by Warm Audio. But we picked a different one as a winner. Oh, the MXR Super Badass. Yeah, that was fuzz. cool. That was another really cool one that we really that, liked. That was a nice one that was like not so boutique and you can get anywhere, really accessible, affordable. Yeah. Really? The, the Eastwood Valco Blood Buzz. Hmm. That was really cool it's too. Just, just to too. name a few. Uh, yep. But the one we picked is just because it's um, the most unique pedal probably in the world of kind of fuzz and drive yeah uh, and it is it's the only pedal that has lightning ah. which is the 
Plasmid Drive. Plasmid Plasma pedal. pedal by Game Changer Audio. Again, it's n it didn't come out this year, but it's new to us this year. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And it's crazy and wild. So congratulations all the way to Latvia. Mm. for I think it's Latvia. Uh, for uh, the Game Ch Changer Audio um, Plasma Pedal. High Voltage Distortion Unit, which I would call more of a fuzz, but... Distorts things. It distorts things. Says what it does on the box. Okay, so now we have that. Now mm. onto the drives. So drives, overdrives, and distortions. So it's a big, big kind of world. It can go for anything from low gain overdrive to crazy metal distortion. Yeah. So honorable mentions go to the Mostronics Bone Breaker. Mm. Uh, also to the, um, uh, which I think is one of the best distortions I've used this year, like actual high gain distortions, the BEOD by Friedman. Uh, what else was there? There are a few others. Oh, maybe this bad boy. Oh, maybe that bad boy. The heavy metal from Doomsday Effects. Yep. That that's was another really cool one. pretty mad sick. But the one we picked as the best drive, yep. it, again, falls into both categories almost, drive and fuzz. Mm. Or not almost, it definitely does. But <laughs> yeah. we picked it, uh, and it is the... Blurry Thing. Blurry Thing. The Russian Plague. This is by cool. Kink Guitar Pedals. Oh, also, which is also, it's not a category, but it's also up there in one of the coolest graphics. Yeah. Um, All this stuff, Mark uh, from um, King Guitar Pedals, great graphics. So, uh, And it's Australian. So congratulations to Mark right. at King Guitar Pedals for uh, the best drive pedal. That's the thing. Uh, cool. All right, what's next? That's fun. Uh, oh, and uh, honorable mentions also go to the... Uh, J Rocket Audio Dumble Drives to Dude and the HRM mm. um, we kind of combined them into one um, so both live in that Dumble kind of world yeah and they're both killer pedals so they're honourable mentions and sort of runner up kind of things as well okay uh, next we have a new category we do uh, which we called Best Other so this kind of comes under any accessory or just other thing that you make, helps you make music, particularly yep. guitar-related music. Like cables, picks. Yep. Um, sweet hats. <laughs> Shoes. We need to wear those pirate hats, actually. We so do. the um, this came down to two things, and yes. we split it both because they're both really, really cool. Yes, we uh, have. Both for recording guitar, yeah. mainly. Do you want me to go first? Would you like to go first? Okay. We so I picked this thing, <laughs> the Two Notes Torpedo Captor X. Um, just think it's a killer product. Uh, it is actually, I think, new for this year as well. It may have come out late last year, but I think Nam, I think Nam this year. Yeah, it was that Nam. I think it came out Nam this year. Mm. So, Guillaume, uh, congratulations, and all the awesome people at uh, Two Notes. Killer product. You can hear it in every single one of the demos we do here. Uh, I use two, every demo you hear it out from my place. Uh, I use only Two Notes stuff, so I've got the, the live and the old cab, uh, got, which is the the old captor and the old cab running together. Killer product. So congratulations. Cool. So that's half of the winner? Half of the winner? Yes. That's the thing. Well, that was my winner. Your winner. <laughs> my winner is the Home Microphones HR01, which is this ribbon microphone. Let's see if we can make it go. Hello. Focus. You know, it's not focusing. So let me do it. Let the professionals you got the magic fingers. Um, While well, you're not focusing that, I'll oh, explain what it is. It's too shiny. It is shiny. It's a um, Hemi ribbon microphone from Melbourne from there Home Microphones. These are fantastic. Built by... Give <laughs> 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 it to me all the time. <laughs> Handmade in Melbourne. <laughs> Look at the magic, magic uh, focus fingers. So, uh, yeah, handmade in Melbourne. They sound fantastic. I'm sure we'll put a card up in the corner for the full demo. Yep. We also use it in our recording series. Yeah. Um, just comes across really nicely. The um, this one in particular is this really cool kind of burnt orange copper color. Yes. And um, it can do custom things and cool colors. And there's a puppy. Even the dog likes it. Yeah, see, I like the, she likes the ribbon mic. Um, really, really cool stuff. So thank you from uh, Home Microphones for making that happen. And it's really, really cool. Yes. Uh, which leads us to the next category, which is best Australian made. Mm. So we had a bunch of runners up there. Uh, we had um, uh, Doomsday Effects. We had Kink Pedals. We had um, 
Anarchy Audio. We had uh, beautiful noise effects. But the winner is... Should we tell them? Let's tell them. I think that's, part, that's the whole point of the video, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the, winner is, suspense, idiot. <laughs> the winner is uh, it's a polydigit slash Bebo yes this is gonna place here. Yeah. here it goes. so this is pretty 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 cool um, not only is it um, amazing routing and flexibility as far as usage goes four ins four outs that's exactly cray, right cray, cray, um, cray. you can do wet dry wet dry wet dry and also um, but just the sounds themselves even if it looked ugly and was had a big on the front it would still be worth it because it sounds amazing but it doesn't looks gorgeous and also <laughs> it's, <laughs> i'm hungry so it's also um really affordable you're too. hungry yeah i need thick straight okay oh oh you need a snickers <laughs> yes. sure. Do you have any chocolate? <laughs> okay so, the, uh, so congratulations yeah. loki in melbourne um poly effect really, killer pedals really uh, best australian made pedal yay now, next, we have, an, uh, we have uh, oh, the category of best pedal that makes a guitar sound like it's not a guitar. We did this pedal. last year. Yes. And? I think the Mood won it last year. Lisa, yeah. Yeah. So this year, uh, we had honorable mention goes to the awesome John over in WA, Western Australia, <laughs> with this thing, which no one still knows what it is exactly. But you can get them, if you want us. Yes. The Aftermath by uh, Anarchy Audio. If you want to... But the winner, yeah. Uh, do you want to, you you do the honors? Oh, I'll do. I'll hold it okay. again, just because I did it. I've got the magic focusing fingers. So this is obviously <laughs> doesn't sound like a guitar because it's a synthesizer pedal. This is the Boss SY One. Uh, we've we've tried a bunch of synth synth, sorry, synth pedals before, where you plug a guitar in, it makes it go synthy. <laughs> you always do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> and this just does it better. It just does it better. Yeah, it's excellent. Uh, uh, also, bass guitar switch on the top, so you can yeah. do full bass. This is probably going to go on a bass board soon. Lame. Uh, so, but yes, thank you, Ed from Boss here in Australia, yeah, yeah. and Thanks, thank mate. you, Boss Ron Boss Australia, for sending it out to us. Thank you, well. Killer pedal. Mm. Now, best Next new thing. brand. Yeah. Now, new brand doesn't necessarily mean a new brand that's new this year, but a new brand that we've dealt with. Uh, okay, honourable mentions. Maybe this. Go to Warm Audio. Because that's really fun. You saw it before. Yes. It's the... Um, the, Foxy. the Foxy Tone Box. Honourable mention goes to... Very honourable. Very honourable mention because it's a killer pedal. It should really win most categories, but uh, it's the When the Sun Explodes by uh, Beautiful Noise Effects. Yeah. Uh, honourable mention also goes to Kink Effects because a new uh, um, uh, Frost Giant Electronics cool brand that we kind of got to know this year mm. um but the winner is alex hang on i'll do I'll, I'll hold up the pedals so this is uh a local chap should we say chap chap yes yeah uh this is doomsday effects pedals the uh heavy metal in the cosmic critter fuzz so they're his first two offerings so he's actually it is a new brand new new brand so it's yep. a new this year brand so matt, um, matt, matt just cool, cool stuff. There's, hey, I think there's more coming too. Hopefully, we can get our hands on those. Yep. Um, we've done some shootouts with them as well because the heavy metal H, HM2 is really, really cool. Yeah. Um, Fuzz is wicked as well. Um, they also look fantastic. Great graphics. Great and graphics, yeah. Local handmade stuff. Okay, now, uh, mm. next one. Best reverb slash delay slash time-based effect. Yeah. So, it, there was a fairly clear winner, but... <laughs> I was quite adamant I wanted something else to be a winner at too because I think it's a killer pedal. Okay. To me, one of the best pedals of the year. Absolutely best pedals of the year. And uh, my winner of the 2020 best reverb slash delay uh, is the When the Sun Explodes by Beautiful Noise Effect. Just a beautiful, 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 beautiful mm -hmm. reverb pedal. Uh, with just enough kind of grit, you've got uh, like a boost with a gain stage there as well. You've got modulation and you've got this feedback control which is just fantastic. And every time-based pedal should have that on it where you can actually control how much of a feedback. It doesn't just go insane as soon as you push it. You can actually t tame it, turn it down and you have this kind of quiet, um, uh, almost droney kind of feedback mm -hmm. loop happening. So one of the very best pedals this year and i really wanted this to win this so i chose this for me 
Uh, Alex chose something else. Maybe also a runner-up under that is their other pedal, the Ender Sleeper. The Ender Sleeper, killer. It's a fun delay too. I wish, because it has a, I think I mentioned that in the podcast, it has a crazy self-oscillation thing on it. I wish it had this with like with the knob so you can assign the crazy self-oscillation. How much? How, how much? much? how much cray cray? So it doesn't just go instantly and takes over. Uh, but your winner. Yep. So this is um, just insanely good quality reverbs and delays. This is a poly effects digit. It also does a bunch of other things, of course, with the Bebo side and as well as on the digit side. You can do That's modulation it. and things. You can see other pedals there. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> uh, just the reverbs alone. It's worth price of admission just for the reverbs. So it was very close for me as well, but I really wanted to, when the sun explode to win this because I think it's a killer pedal. It's very, very cool. Yeah, but this is amazing. Loki, congratulations. Actually, we talked about this in the reverb. Both of those, sorry, on the podcast, both of these reverbs... Um, completely different angles to making sounds and noise. Um, beautiful noise is this kind of gritty, lo-fi, distorted analog thing, and the other one's pristine and gorgeous and stereo and lush. And, but both you quad can, stereo. Yes. Quad quadrio. Octo stereo. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, both of them you can easily lose an afternoon. Yeah. And just. Or a couple of hours of afternoons. Yeah. So congratulations. Very Next, cool. best modulation. Yes. Now, this is a bit of a dubious one because it may or may not necessarily be considered modulation or not. Well, we're um, making it all up so screw yes. But, true, true, <laughs> true, true. Uh, so, uh, honorable mentions, and close to the second for me was the uh, Pyramids by Earthquaker Devices. Focus, there you go. Was the Pyramids by Earthquaker <laughs> Devices. Yeah, that's much better. Um, Jeez. Uh, great stereo in, stereo out as well. Mm. Um, Flanger. Flange. Flanger. 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 It's actually Le Flanger. Um, Flanger. But so we had two winners again. We had your winners, your winner and my winner. Uh, also, honorable mention to the uh, 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 binary by Hot Tone, the binary mod. Mm. Yep. Also really cool. Actually, that was also the echo before as well. We should have mentioned that. Yes. Uh, but okay, what's your winner? You go first this time. Look. Modulation. It modulates things, so I'm going to call it a modulation. It's... It could be a delay, but it could be modulation. Yeah, it could be lots of things. It could be the dweller from Old Blood Noise Effects. I did you? Infected <laughs> endeavors. <laughs> this is really, really cool. Again, it kind of it's unique and you can get lost in it for a good amount of time. Um, they're really good at making unique stuff. Yeah. That is still usable. Yeah. In regular music, not just crazy noise, ambient stuff. You can use it all the time. It's unique. So it just doesn't sound like another preset off a multi effects board. Yeah. This is really, really cool. So that's why I chose that. And my winner uh, was something I never thought I would choose as a, win as a winner for anything because I, I would have just said, oh, it's just a chorus. But it's not. Once you actually plug it in and sit in a room with it, it's definitely not a chorus. It's this. Uh, the Boss DC2W Dimension C. Um, that's better. Wow. <laughs> it's a killer pedal. A big thank you again to Boss and Ed for sending this out to us. But I never got it until mm. I actually sat down and played with it. And now I get it. And I think it's killer now. I really, really like it. So uh, my best modulation. Congratulations Excellent. to Boss. Now, uh, we only got a couple more left. Oh, get through them. Best amp sim or plug-in. Yep. So, like uh, we mentioned, there's a podcast which you can check out below. Um, you use a lot more amp sims in your studio at home. Yeah. Um, so I haven't tried as many as you have. Um, one I really liked, I've tried here and did a little video of, is the UAD Fender Tweed. It's deluxe. Which is, I, think I think that bra is it Brainworks that makes that. I'm not sure. It might be one of those. I think it's Brainworks that makes it. And um, just kind of instant old school rock and roll. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Yeah. And um, But the one I'm going to go with is, as a whole is a company called Baby Audio. <laughs> now they have some really, really cool stuff. Casper? No. Um, really fun. All the interfaces look fantastic. I use the Comeback Kid, which is the delay quite a lot in mixing. And um, they all have a color, have a character, 
have a thing going on so it just doesn't sound like another plugging you whacked on just to, yeah. to make things and a very simple user interface and yep. not expensive and cool presets too yeah yeah yep. and like that iheart new york compressor actually yep. quite a good compressor with two knobs yeah that's it does parallel stuff it's, um, it's easy killer killer thing uh, i should also mention we both and we talked about this in the podcast but um as a whole mm. um very very close honorable mentions and very close second uh we're going to put native instruments complete 13. Yep. Not just Guitar Rig 6, but Complete 13, because it's just an entire production suite. You can literally make an entire album, doesn't really matter what style of music, just about, uh, with everything you need is in it. From guitar, bass, fake guitar, fake bass, you know, the stuff where you tell them what chords to play and it drums it for you, um, to synthesizers, to mic pre's, to compression, to mastering tools to anything drum machine drum machine yeah i mean anything the other cool thing with the whole whole package is they've put a lot of work into the presets yeah so the presets sound like really cool interesting finished sounds but doesn't sound like another preset like yeah preset a preset yeah B. yeah no it's so it's excellent so really, really that's cool. a close runner-up for me uh, my winner was the ik multimedia amplitude 5 i think as a um as a whole it's killer and sounds fantastic but the free version when you just download the free version not it's not a trial version it's for you to keep the stuff you get is there's i don't think there's anything else that comes close to it in terms of um m sims and stuff uh absolutely killer so uh, that's my winner ik multimedia amplitude 5. Yay! okay two more we've got uh a, a newish sort of category best guitar yeah, we've done a few over this last 12 months. Yep. Um, and? So we did. Okay, the videos we did this year. Yeah. So we included unboxing videos too because we haven't done full videos for some of the guitars. But we did uh, the Eastwood um, mm. Sidejack Deluxe Baritone with the Fanner Omnis MG6. We did the Ormsby Hype GTR7. We did the Airline Twin Tone, which is right Twin there. Tone. And we did the Vanda Guitars Ostel. Yep. So I think for both of us, a very close runner-up. I mean, they're all killer guitars. Fun. Um, I love the baritone a lot. If you watch the channel, you know I do. Um, uh, both of us, I think, close runner-up was the Ostel by Vanda. Yep. Beautiful so. guitar. Um, yeah, cool. And affordable. And affordable. But the winners, we had two winners. Mm. Now, I'm going to go first because Alex is a little bit... I what? wouldn't have thought so. Let's say it that way. You're judging me? Yes, I'm judging you. <laughs> so my winner, I think, again, if you watch the channel recently, yeah. fairly obvious, uh, I'm going for the Fano on this. Is it going to focus? Is it focused? I think it's focused. The Fano on this MG6. Uh, killer guitar. I can't stop playing it. At home as well. This is a guitar that I have always in, in the evening when I'm watching TV and stuff. I'm sitting there and I'm just noodling on it. Beautiful guitar. It needed a little tweakage to set it up the way I want it to be set up because I use heavy strings and, um, you know, I, I don't really use a trem in a way tram, people use trams that often. But um, once it's set up, it's just such a killer guitar. So for me, this is one of my favorite things in general this year that cool. I've got. Yeah. So uh, Fano, thank you so much, all the guys at Fano for sending this out to us. And there'll be tons more videos. And in the very early stages of 2021, there will be a full review of this. Mm. Now, Alex, Yo. tell us about your favorite uh, banjo of the year. Well, <laughs> I like a guitar that you can hook on a clothes rack with your sports jacket. Or use for spearfishing. Exactly that. So that's why I've gone with the Ormsby. A seven st pink seven-string fan fret guitar. Who would have thought? You know me. You're coming around, Alex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, this is really, really cool. It's um, I think it ticks a lot of boxes as an instrument. Um, it's built really nicely. Fit and finish is great. The frets are lovely. Nice rounded end, ends yeah. on them. Bill quality um, is, is very, very, very good. On both, actually. But this thing is quite spectacular, yeah. The uh, price point is really good. All the hardware is fantastic. Finish is I can't find a flaw with the finish. No. Nah. Um, neck feels good. It's kind of got some chunk to it, even though it's kind of like a speedy neck. Yeah. It's a bit Ibanez-y, that kind of thing. Um, it still has a bit of mass to it. We've got almost a whole second guitar here. 
It's like a mandolin attached yeah. to the end of it. Yes. Ready? <laughs> it is like almost a mandolin. Yeah, like that. So that's two instruments in one. And um, yeah, just dig it's very likable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I mean, it's it's a pink burst fan fret seven string guitar, but it looks really classy. It's kind of, yeah. <laughs> it's not over the top. And it's, again. Even with the massive hook headstock, it's not over the top. Yeah, we'll poke you in here. Um, it's, I think it's fun, if yeah. nothing else. Yeah. Just simply fun. So yeah, I, I dig this one. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. So congratulations to Fano and yeah. to Ormsby. And Which leaves us with one last thing. Yeah, cool. The pedal of the year. Or the potty, as he calls it. Mm. So this is um, the 2020 potty. 2020 potty. So it was fairly unanim unanimous. <laughs> last year we had uh, the uh, Chase Bliss Mood one. Yeah. Which there was no Chase Bliss pedals that were sent to us this year, so we couldn't... Alas. Would love to have some more Chase Bliss to win our pedal. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so I think for me a very, 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 very close runner-up. And for me, I think it was the pedal of the year up until very recently. And I think everyone should buy one of these. Um, uh, and this is, so this is the runner-up, uh, is the When the Sun Explodes by Beautiful Noise Effects. Just brilliant pedal. Uh, and and I'm feeling very bad about the fact that it is not the pedal of the year, but um, the other pedal is just outpedaled it. But this thing is killer, and uh, it's a really 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 good pedal. You should all go and try it out if you can. Uh, it's Australian made as well, which is another bonus. So uh, very close runner up for me is the When the Sun Explodes by Beautiful Noise Effects. But the winner, it's a lovely there thing. can only be one winner. One potty. One party, and it was kind of unanimous. Yeah, is this thing? Holy digit slash Bebo. Uh, Loki down in Melbourne. Congratulations. Um, Super just cool. an amazing pedal. I mean, there is nothing else like it. Nope. It is. It it is its own unique thing, and literally every time you turn on your computer. There is an up a software up, firmware update for it. Mm. Um, or like it's almost like a every time you go to Instagram, there is a, a notification new firmware from from Bolivia. Yeah. and it's always cool stuff and always like very new stuff. The things you can do with it, the touch screen, the four ins and outs, um, crazy. We've only managed to do um, basic, basic overviews so far this year. We'd have just run out of time. Yeah. Um, but there'll be more videos definitely coming yeah, yeah, yeah. next year. Absolutely. Get in more depth in some um, um, each of the types of effects. Yeah. It's an absolutely killer pedal. Uh, there's nothing else like it in the world. It's not even that expensive for what it does. No. I mean, no. if you compare what it does to, I mean, oh. just one of the sides, just the reverb side, the reverb delay side, if you compare that to... Like even to like clips or something. Yeah. It's thousands. Yeah. Thousands of yeah. money. Or even the H9. All that too, yeah. Or even the, I mean, probably the, the, the space pedal that just released comes, or the, the black hole pedal comes sort of close. But I mean, it, there's more in this. Oh, yeah. For the price, it's insane. So the stuff he does. So congratulations to Melbourne, to Loki, uh, pedal of the year. Um, it's been a weird and wonderful year. Um, yep. <laughs> uh, in many ways, uh, and hopefully next year will be just as interesting. Uh, make sure to check out our podcast. Uh, you can hear us talk for about an hour and 20 or something like that about all these pedals and how we came up with what we came up with. Mm -hmm. And there's some fisticuff stuff in there too. Um, when I said, no, Alex, you're wrong. And then he cried. And then he said, okay, you could roll your right. Fetal position. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um. <laughs> but yeah, big thank you to all the brands that sort of got involved with us, yeah. uh, all the distributors as well in Australia got involved with it, with us, uh, all the people that are watching this. Uh, we've had a massive year. I mean, uh, one hundred seventy seven videos this year. We had one point two million views at the time of when we filmed this, which is crazy. I mean, there's people that get one point two million views on one video, yeah, who like to slap at the base. But, uh, <laughs> but for us to and then do close-ups of their eyes. That's your forehead. <laughs> Is that my eye? Uh, kind of. 
Um, wow, that was a bit too close. It was a bit too close. Uh, they get one point <laughs> two million views on each of their videos, but um, yeah. I mean, for us, to, it's a, it's a lot, and um, I mean, it's it's almost doubled our views from the previous year. And thank you so much to everyone for watching. Um, thank you to all the other YouTubers as well, because it is has become a bit of a community, mm. which is a big thank you to Henning. He did that's that's all he's doing. So um, yeah, thank you everyone. Thank you very and much. Th thank you, Alex. Thank you, Gabor. There's also links below to our podcast we mentioned. We did discuss how we got to these decisions. Yes. And just general chit-chat. And also a Facebook, Instagram, and a Facebook group chat. Yes. Find that below. And yeah. hope you've had a great Christmas. Yeah. And uh, lots of food and drink, friends and family. Yes. And, uh, well, this is kind of coming out just after the New Year. So, Happy New Year, first few days. I think this is coming out on the 1st of... January most places, mm. second of January here in Australia. Because we're in the future. We're in the future. So hello from the future. Good day. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. And uh, more of this in twenty twenty one. See you soon.